see the balloon. And now here is a recap of what happened earlier. Dan, why don't you take us through? It was a, a beautiful launch. You see that there's this cable underneath the balloon about a thanging from the launch tower. And then the whole thing starts lifting up into the air and ascends up to, uh, to launch beautifully from the tower. There it is. So you see that yellow arm swings out of the way, uh, clear of the vehicle, and then the vehicle just lifts straight up on the balloon. Uh, since then, uh, the balloon has been lifting up, and now it is at its final float altitude of about 120,000 feet. This is a live view. It's pretty amazing that we're watching a balloon 120,000 feet in the air on a live camera. Having watched the, the test last year, I think uh, we learned a tremendous amount from the data set we have. Uh, I'm confident we've got another great data set in front of us uh, that will help us understand even more about the nature of these parachutes. Uh, we went through a lot, of, uh, you know, a lot of study, a lot of analysis, a lot of great effort to help come back with a, a more robust and stronger parachute. Uh, we tested that parachute at sea level to over 120,000 pounds and saw it survive just fine uh, at those loads. And so, you know, we've, we've got a little head scratching. You know, clearly there are more things out there that we still don't have a good handle on. But it's tests like this and it's the data that we get from these tests that are going to help us understand what those phenomena are and help us design parachutes for the future. The, uh, the test vehicle got us to the right conditions. The rocket motor got us to the right conditions. Uh, then we deployed the side. The side inflated great. Uh, from what we can tell, it helps dampen out some of the oscillations that we were seeing earlier on. Uh, we, we decelerated on the side for about 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, then we began the next phase. We mortar fire a large 15-foot uh, diameter balloon off the back of the vehicle. It gets out there, it inflates, looks like it inflated great, uh, and it stayed back behind there and also seemed to help dampen out some of the oscillations uh, that the test vehicle is seeing as well. Uh, so from what we can tell, the preliminary estimate is that the side and both the balloon performed very, very well for us. This was a, a really excellently executed experiment. We were able to get the, the devices to condition. Of course, again, we have to analyze the telemetry to make sure they were deployed to the proper density and mock conditions, but all indications are that the t this was a good experiment. We still have to get our data back from the ocean. I understand uh, that we have recovered the FUR, the flight image recorder, on the boat, recovery boat, so we should get back our high resolution, high speed video. That's really the key element that we need to examine it. So I think we had a successful experiment. We conducted the experiment, we got the devices to the conditions. I believe we got all the data, and so we're going to examine all of that.